then I'm a problem solver. I want to help you increase your time. I want to help you decrease your stress. And I want to help you increase your sales so that you have more time and energy to scale your company. Hey guys, welcome to the Top Line Entrepreneur. My name is Brett Summers and every week, for the most part, we try and bring you this podcast and YouTube show to help you take your game to the top. Now, I realize that not everyone is an entrepreneur, but it's nice to hear from a business owner and get some of those insights because all of you entrepreneurs, people who work inside of an organization who want to advance yourself or people who are just trying to break into different industries out of college or maybe they're transitioning through different jobs, maybe you need some help and that's what this show is all about. So buckle up because today's message is awesome and I'm going to help you guys achieve something really, really big. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brett Summers and I'm an entrepreneur and I've been in business now for 11 years. I've been running top line strength and conditioning and all sorts of other little side ventures and different entrepreneurial little ventures from baseball businesses to supplement companies and truck companies and football teams and all sorts of different random stuff because I love business. And I know a little bit about it, still learning, got a lot of great mentors, Grant Cardone, Bedros Koulian, Brian Tracy, and several others. But today I wanna to drop you guys something very important. I'm gonna show you how to get a job, any job, I'm gonna show you how to get it. I'm gonna show you how to get your dream job. So buckle up. For those of you out there who really wanna get a really good job, you wanna get that perfect job, the one you've really dreamed of, right? And how many of you guys out there have been in that situation? You have this dream job. You know exactly what you wanna do. You know it's a little out of reach for you though, and you don't know how you're gonna get your foot in the door. Well, first of all, you have to be confident. And I'm gonna explain how you do that. Again, my name is Brett Summers. I'm an entrepreneur, and that means that I know how business owners think, okay? So we're, we're a different breed. We're not focused on some things that other people are focused on. And what's funny is this. You see, in business, we put out content like this video to help you out, right? We show you value, and we give you a little idea about how we think. Right, you see, oh, this guy's talking about this and this. He's talking about fitness and, and coaching athletes on this show, and he's talking about just some daily life and some of his thought process. You know, you either form an opinion where you like this guy and you like what he's thinking, or you form an opinion that eh, I don't know. But either way, I'm trying to offer you guys value, and in return, hopefully, we build some trust and some credibility, and maybe we do business together. But how do you guys go about trying to get a job? You fill out an application. Uh, you, you send them your resume, which is all about you, right? It's about what you think you're good at and about this, that, and the other, and about what you need and what types of goals you have. But really, what does the business owner care about? The business owner cares about himself, just like you, the consumer. When you go in to buy a car, you care about what you want. It doesn't matter what the salesman likes. When you go to buy an outfit, it doesn't matter what the person selling you the clothes wants to look like. It matters what you want to look like. But you guys don't often approach the situation like that when it comes to a job. So I'm going to teach you guys the exact steps that you need to get a job. And the first one is you need to show them how you can add value to their company. Don't go in there and talk about this or that or the other thing. Know their business. Know what they do. Know what their problems are and how you can be a solution. So here's, here's what I would suggest you doing. And this is going to require confidence and it's going to be hard at first. Okay. Now you could do it two ways. One of two ways. A, you could create a video. It's 2020. You can create a video that you can send out, preferably a custom video addressing the person that you're sending it to by name. And you can send it to them or you could even drop it off with an iPad. Maybe go buy an iPad, preload the video on it with a little note on it that says, hey, check this out. You think they're gonna wanna see that or they're gonna wanna see your paper resume that they're teaching you how to write in college? You gotta get attention, you've gotta get noticed. So here's what I would put on that message and I tell this to people all the time. I'd say this. Just say we're Mr. Williams is the owner, Mrs. Williams is the owner of the business and I'm trying to impress her. 
Hey, Mrs. Williams, I know you don't know me yet, but I'm glad that you got a chance to watch this video, or if you're in person, say it right to her face. My name is Brett Summers, and I just wanted to let you know that I'm a problem solver. I wanna help you increase your time, I wanna help you decrease your stress, and I wanna help you increase your sales so that you have more time and energy to scale your company. Now you might be asking, well, what does this person do? Well, what I do is I get stuff done. It doesn't matter what it is, I get things done. I'm a solution, I am not a problem. I don't even think about problems. I focus only on finding solutions and getting big things done. Is that the type of person that you need on your team? If you answered yes to that, let's get a follow-up interview going, right? Now you could even segue into that. Now a bonus tip on how to get any job. Now again, you ask a business owner, you tell a business owner, hey, I'm gonna help you save time. I'm gonna help you get more energy. I'm gonna help you decrease your stress. I'm gonna help you increase sales in your organization. And it doesn't matter what it is, I'm gonna come in here and solve problems. If the business owner is anything like me, even a slightly like me, they're gonna find a way to get you through the door and get you on the team. Every person wants a, somebody like that on their team. That's what an A player looks like. An A player comes in and it doesn't matter what's going on because a lot of times in business, while you may have one job, you're gonna end up doing several and your team has to know that they can depend on you to get it done. Every business owner wants that on their team and if you went in there boldly and said something like that or you sent that person that video or you did whatever you had to do, um, I heard a good one from Patrick Bet David the other day where a gentleman sent him a sneaker and the sneaker had a note attached to it, got mailed to him. So he gets this like Michael Jordan shoe. It's a Jordan shoe. And the note says, I've got one foot in the door. Maybe you can help me get the other one in and maybe we'll hit it off. That's a great way to get some attention. That's a great way to show up differently and be unique. There's all sorts of different things that you could do on a creative level to get the attention of a boss or a CEO or a potential employer. So make sure that you're willing to do something like that and know what they need. Everyone needs more time, needs more energy, needs more money, and needs to be able to have their stress levels decreased so they can focus on the bigger picture and then have you guys working and helping them out. So if you wanna get a job, it's a great way to do it. Now here's another way to where you can try and make an extra 30 or 40 or 50 or $100,000 on top of the existing salary of the position they might be offering. You might be able to tell them like this, and this is where you have to do two things. You have to be confident, and you also have to be able to back it up because you can't just say this stuff if it's not true. If you're not dependable, if you don't have your game tight, if you're not a hustler, if you're not up early, if you don't have big goals and big dreams and big plans, you're not self-educating and progressing, none of this is going to work. So you can't just get your dream job by going and doing that. But you will be put into, thrust into a position to do that, but you're going to have to back it up. But here's what I would suggest doing. Maybe the position has a $50,000 salary. Maybe you'd like to make $100,000. Here's the truth, and this goes on in every business. At that business that you're applying for, there are two or three or four or 50 or 100 employees who are underperforming. They're looking at the clock from 4 o'clock till 5 o'clock, just itching to get out of there. They're not doing their job. They're gossiping. They're talking about problems. They're not finding solutions. They're belly aching and they're complaining and they're talking about the boss behind their back anyway. And that boss has just been waiting for a reason to cut them loose. Just any little thing that they do and he, that he or she is just waiting to say, you know what, sayonara, we don't need you on the team. And you know what, you might be that solution for them, right? They're like, man, now I got this, this gal over here, Liz. And Liz can get this done and that done and she's confident. And, 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 and here's what you do. You go in and tell that boss this, whoever the boss is, him, her, doesn't matter who it is, you go in there and you say this, hey, I know that you've got three or four, 50 or 100 different employees at your organization right now who are underperforming. They're showing up late. They're leaving a little early. They're checking out. They're doing all those things we mentioned earlier. Why don't you cut them loose? and I'm gonna be such an asset to you, give me a 90 day period to prove that I'm worth it and cut four or five of them loose and throw their salary to me because I'll be a valuable asset to you. Now that's a bold statement. Wouldn't you agree? You guys watching out there, you gotta be thinking, man, Brett's kind of off his rocker. Brett's, Brett's a little crazy. 
Most entrepreneurs are a little crazy. They're a little fanatical about their business. They've invested years and decades and hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. And beyond that, the time and energy and effort that they're putting into it is unbelievable. And if they could pick up an asset like you, right? You, the young, the young college guy or gal that's coming out of school, or you, the one that's been in other businesses and you're maybe in your 30s or 40s and you're like, man, I'd really like to make another 50 or $100,000. You only get that by being a solution. So again, this is an entrepreneur show, but entrepreneurs need people around them who are great number twos and number threes and number fives and number sixes in, in the organization. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about that a lot, how not everybody's meant to be a CEO, but that doesn't mean that the number 12 person in Facebook didn't become a billionaire or a multi multi millionaire and that they weren't a valuable asset and that's what you could be in another organization so if you guys really want to level up you want to go get this dream job right and if you came to me and said that to me right now i'd be like let's roll let's hire you but unfortunately people come in and i had a gentleman reach out to me a few weeks ago taught and he, he sent me a message he wanted to get a job as a coach and the guy sent me a message about himself I think that might be a good fit for me there and I think that I could really train people there and I'd like to train more athletes and I'd like to do this and um, I, I'd like to be, you know, I've, I've been an entrepreneur or I mean, I've, I've made sales so I think that I could do that and um, I think it would, I got no confidence from him. All I heard about was him. He didn't say anything about what we're doing. He didn't do any research. He didn't study anything. He didn't know where we're going. He didn't know our mission. We have a video that literally says, our vision and our mission, and he did not know it. He did not mention anything about it. So get all your ammo, do some research, study the person, go find them on LinkedIn because the business owner is probably on there. Go see what they need, go think about what they might need. If I was him or her, what would I need? I'd need more time, I'd need more energy, I'd need some tasks to be taken off of my plate. I would need probably a, a 10 or 20 other people need to be managed so the boss doesn't have to do it all the time and sit there and be caught up in the, in the yuck and muck of everyday business. Let me, be, let me come in here and help you out. Go in there with that attitude. And again, stop going into these job interviews looking for careers, thinking about yourself. Come on, I'm never gonna hire you like that. These other CEOs and entrepreneurs are never gonna hire you like that. Treat it like you wanna be treated as a customer. When you're a customer, you wanna know what that business can do for you. You want to know what the business can do for you. And now when you're going in these situations, the business wants to know what you can do for them. Don't talk about just you and what your goals are and what your dreams are. Talk about what they're doing. Know where they're trying to take their company. Know what new products they have coming out. Know, know what services they offer and they'd like to double down on and how you can add value to that and how you can solve problems and free up people and increase the money, that the, that the revenue that they can bring in so that they can generously pay you back for being a valuable asset and helping them scale their organization because that's what everyone's after is growth and expansion and doing things better, having less stress and being happier. And for those of you out there who are in college or you are uh, watching this and you do want to get a new job, again, grab a camera, grab someone who knows how to edit, pay them a couple hundred dollars to give you a professional video, but make the video about the person you're trying to serve rather than about yourself. No one wants to see you sit and brag about yourself, just like no one wants a business to sit and brag about them. They wanna know what you can do for them, what, how you can serve them, and that's what you need to go do and take that philosophy to go get any job you want. And my recommendation would be to do this. Send it out to two or 300 dream positions. Make a custom video two or 300 times. That sounds like a lot of work but it's your dream job and it's your life. And I'd say that's pretty important. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this message today. Again, it's the Top Line Entrepreneur. If you're just watching this video and you're from Milwaukee and you wanna come in here and train or work with me or be a part of our organization, try and take that approach because just sending a resume out with all the things that you're good at and what you think that you can do and what you wanna do, it really don't impress anybody. But again, it's, it's a big week. Thanksgiving's coming up this week. And we want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to get signed up and work with us here at Top Line. We've got a Jet Black Friday sale that'll be going from now and only a couple, another week or so until December 1st. So I think you guys should take advantage of it. So shoot over to toplinegym.com. I appreciate you guys watching this. And if you know somebody who wants to take their career to another level, to the top, have them watch this video. Share it, like it, comment it. 
And we appreciate you guys checking it out today. Be bold, be confident, and know how to solve problems for someone else. And you're going to have all the options you could ever imagine. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you guys soon.